how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about iOS 17 Beta 2. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, finally we have the iOS 17 Beta 2 in our hands. I am so excited. My devices really, really needed this update because iOS 17 was so freaking bad in terms of speed especially the battery life my devices really needed this and your devices needed it as well i know let's get right into today's video and talk about ios 17 beta 2 it is finally here and let's talk about it and see what is all new things that i have discovered in this short period of time with playing with ios 17 beta 2 thank you so much for plugging in with me and watching this video it really means a lot to me it would be amazing if you guys can hit that subscribe button because because I am one of the first person talking about the latest and the best updates on pretty much all devices and do name it and I'll make the video for you. Make sure to hit subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Now that you've done that, let's dive into today's video. All right. So if you have been following me for a while, you have noticed that I have made a lot of videos on iOS 17. And the only complaint that I had with iOS 17 beta 1, this was a complaint which was not just from me, but a lot of you guys DM'd me on my Twitter as well at the rate tech hyped. I do talk to a lot of you guys over on my Twitter. So a lot of you guys also told me that the battery life is something which all of you guys are really really frustrated from the battery life was so pathetic in the short period of time of course i have not played with this update enough to tell you exact figures but for the short period of time i have played with this update i have noticed that the battery life may be a little bit better because after updating earlier i used to see about in 15 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes i used to see about 5 to 10 percent of battery drop and now it was just two to three percent okay so this is very small period of time that i am talking about so take it with a grain of salt wait for my follow-up video i will talk more about battery life in that video in depth update was really large as well i did not expect the update to be this big there aren't anything majorly new which you can see right after updating but yes that doesn't mean there is nothing new in this update the number one new thing that i noticed in this update is the performance the performance on the ios 17 beta 2 seems a little bit more smoother and the animations after restarting the phone i used to always notice a lot of lag if i immediately uh, unlocked my phone and started using a lot of apps and uh, opening a lot of apps right after opening my phone i used to see a lot of jitteriness and lag and sometimes even respring i tried doing the same thing and phone is performing really really well so that is a really good sign that ios 17 beta 2 performance seems to be improved and the next thing is related to standby the standby has also received some updates earlier standby was working really weird and if you were on call and you were using your device on call it was again and again thinking that you have left your device and in the landscape mode most of the time when you are talking in landscape mode it will or and your phone is on charging which is 99 percent of the time because ios 17 beta 1 was really really bad in terms of battery life so if your phone was on charging and you were on call with someone you will always see the standby screen that bug is now resolved and the standby screen does not get triggered automatically when you are on call then the next thing is the storage storage oh my god let me tell you i had to free up so much storage my device being a 64 and 128 gb device which i'm using even on my 128 gigabyte device i realized that the system data was taking over 68 gigabytes on my iphone 10r and over 38 gb on my iphone 12. i mean still 68 gb on 128 device is uh, okay it's kind of understandable but on a 64 gb device taking more than 35 gb is a bit too mad so you will receive a lot of your storage back after installing the ios 17 beta 2 because after installing this update i got 
are about 4.2 GB free. That is really, really good. I got some storage back after installing this update. That is amazing. So if you are also short on storage, installing this update will free up some of your storage. Overall, there aren't anything majorly new that I have dive into this update. This is all the main things that I have noticed till now. There are many more bug fixes as well, which I have noticed, which are now fixed on the iOS 17 beta 2. A lot of bugs are fixed on the iOS 17 beta 2, which is a really, really good sign. What I think is Apple has made iOS 17 beta 2 more of focused towards the stability and reliability rather than adding new features that's pretty much it for today's quick little episode thank you so much for watching this video i am currently working on another video i have found a hidden feature on ios 17 beta 2 as well which does deserve a separate video in itself so i will be coming up with that video really really soon so make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification now that you have watched this video till the end i do deserve a subscribe for being so quick in updating you guys thank you so much for watching this video till the end this is me jay aka tech hype signing off peace